Hello everybody, Rex Tempest, Time Traveler here, uh, playing Back to the Future of the Game, Episode 3, Citizen Brown, where I've ended up in a pretty horrible time period, I gotta say. Um, Doc Brown and Edna Strickland are somehow have created like a fanatical police state, and they're trying to brainwash everybody. They've done it with, uh, with... What's his name? Biff already, and now they are trying to do it with everybody else. Let's see. This is Jennifer Jen Parker. Keeps her paints locked. Yeah. So okay, that's not going. What can I do with the plank? I wonder. Uh, Jennifer Parker. This is my girlfriend, or used to be. Now I'm apparently one of the cool, studious kids, and she's sort of the punk uh, rebel. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. But it's a plank. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely <sighs> have to. All right, so let's see. I have the this locked. Okay, so do I have anything in my inventory that can maybe unlock this? I have a stack of demerits. I have what else do I have? I have Doc's notebook. I'm definitely not going to do anything with that. Uh, this photo, which again I think is most likely going to be to show like history being fixed because it was supposed to be me and Jennifer at the prom and she disappeared but apparently I guess I went by myself I've got a newspaper from 1931 a newspaper where did I get a newspaper from 1986 uh, let's see what does this do they don't need it yeah probably not okay alright so let's see I can't Unlock is near, so I can tell. Um, all right, so I guess I'll just leave here for now and head on back. Um, now that I know a little bit more about what's going on in this town. Oh. Look what? out, son! Okay. Oh, that's my mom. Uh -huh. What is she doing here? Let's uh, go talk to her. Oh, I have an electric car. All right. Where did, is she talking with Biff, I wonder? Oh, yeah, she is. Okay. So let's talk to her, see what's going on. Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, I can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. What? So what are you doing out here? So what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh, for my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. Okay. And whose golf cart is that? What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Yeah. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Hmm. Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Yes. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Should I... Does he have anything new to say? I feel like no, but... Hey, got a sec, Biff. Sure, Martin. What's on your mind? Uh, nah, nothing. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. Okay, so, you know, why not? Let's go ahead and, uh, take, uh, go home in the electric car and see. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. Yeah. 
It's quieter anyway. Most likely get any collisions with a Rolls Royce this way. Um, and let's see where I live in the future. Uh, wait, this can't be right, can it? Why does it say caution? A peeping Tom. Ah, Dad. Uh, try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Yeah. What the? What is going on? All right. So we have George. We have some monitors. And anything else over here? Oh, my guitar. All right. Let's start with the monitors, I guess. Uh, just okay. Nothing really much here. Let's uh, try the VCR. Oh, it's recording. I don't want to mess up Dad's work. What morning, is his Mr. work? Please address me as Mrs. Let's try um, talking to him. I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Uh, what are you looking for? Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers... What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. Hmm. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... Wow. How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Mom's a boozer? Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh. I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, hmm. son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, uh, we need to talk. Uh, what were you hiding when I came in? What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um, I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. Yeah, I wasn't led to believe that. Oh, no way. No way. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality. But... What? Confidentially? Not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. Hmm. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, <laughs> You're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. Uh, it sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe hmm. you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Um, ask about Mom. It's about Mom. Uh, how did she get like this? 
How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my... in my perfect world. You're right, it's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. Uh, she's considering Citizens Plus? She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You're not gonna let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's gotta be a good thing. Uh... No. Don't you think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion! What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why, we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. Different subject. Hmm. Something on your mind? Uh, ask about me. It's about me. I'm all ears. What am I like? Well, uh, from certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a... As a what? A nerd. They said that? In so many words. Just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to... Stop! I really don't want to hear anymore. I'm proud of you, son. There are several things in there that made me uncomfortable. Aside from rubber band collection and him saying that he was proud. Um... I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. Uh, you recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! She's bad news! Why, my surveillance cameras have caught her doing things that, that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. Kissing boys. Sitting with boys in cars. I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake. But believe me, you're well rid of her. Hmm. Where can I find me? You, uh... Is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow with that math and magic competition, so I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. Different subject. Okay, different subject. Yeah? Uh, how about you? So about you and your, uh, work. Shoot. How did you get like this? You seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's cinema verite. These candid moments of Hill Valley's residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional materials that advertise our way of life to the rest of the world. True, you can argue that I've taken things to extremes, but I still get up to take my meals and, of course, to use the facilities. Uh, you're supposed to be a writer. You're supposed to be, I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction. I did mess around with that once, but that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. Science fiction's illegal? Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible, and it encourages the idea that there might be better societies than Hill Valley, which is mm. subversive nonsense, of course. Yeah, but if Doc Brown... Okay, alright, so if Doc Brown gets his notebook and sees all the fantastic things that he did in another timeline, I wonder if that's going to kind of reawaken his passion, but that means, of course, getting to him. Okay, different subject. Yeah? Plus, the notebook might have changed. Um, it's about someone we both know. It's about someone we both know. Yes? Uh, tell me about Biff. Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scofflaw should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. No, I don't think you should be. Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course, I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. 
He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? Are we talking about the same? But really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Yeah, I figured. All right, uh, yeah, where are my brother and sister? Uh, David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper, and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Yeah, mystery about that. Hmm. Okay. Something on your mind? Wow, they really have me do doing quite a lot of talking with him, huh? All right. Hill Valley has a lot of rules. It certainly does, for our own good. Could kissing be illegal? Public kissing is illegal, right? Ah, the old PDA law. Indeed it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. But you know, it's a law people break with surprising regularity. Why, I could show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. Mm, yeah, okay. Contraband? If I got caught with a contraband item, I'd get in a lot of trouble, right? You certainly would. You could be facing up to a thousand demerits, depending on the item. But of course, you wouldn't be caught dead with anything illegal. It's your mother I'm worried about. Hmm. Okay. Giving me some stuff to think about. Did you ever harbor a dangerous animal? Aha! Couldn't if I wanted to. They've all been banned. But I did catch something very interesting on one of my monitors yesterday. Which one was it? Oh, yes! Does that look like a stray dog to you? Whatever it is, Edna's animal patrol will make short work of it. Einstein! Okay, so I can possibly get the contraband from my mom, find the dog, or somehow convince uh, Jennifer to kiss me. Any of those could get me to the Citizen Brown. All right, hmm. so... Something on your mind? Uh, what's the deal with the house? What's the deal with the house, Dad? I don't know how to tell you this, son, but while you were away at your Mathemagic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house because what? of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. Wow. Um, dust mites, huh? So, uh, when is this dust mite problem going to be solved so I can get to all my stuff? Well, the cleanup crew said they'd probably get around to it by tonight, but they're kind of backed up, so I wouldn't expect them until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Where am I supposed to sleep? I got it all covered, son. We're going to camp out back just like we did when you were little. Okay. This timeline is officially a nightmare. How exactly does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see. So, if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. Um... I'll take the tape. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Okay, so I've pretty much done everything I can with him. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Okay. Break some rules. You can start by finding her secret stash. Okay. So, computer? Let's try this. Nice. We didn't have a computer in the other timeline. I, uh, well, no joystick. That's lame. 
Yeah. All right, so let's see. Got to get my guitar. That's got to be able to do something. Hey, All right. what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. That was rude. Give me the guitar. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... Uh, rock and roll so is Music is good for you. I need it to impress Jennifer. Let's try this. Music is good for you. It improves your mental performance. Then take up the piccolo. Leave the electric guitar to the rebels and malcontents. Hmm. I needed to impress Jennifer. A certain girl is only going to like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little <laughs> hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only going to drive her further up. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Wow. That's pretty awful that he doesn't believe in my yeah, rock and roll dream. You, okay. Sure. Floppy disk. Can I take some of those? Greetings, programs. LeBrock 2.0. Anatomical constructs for sciences of all sorts. <laughs> Boring. Okay. All right, so, um, wow, that was a lot of information to take in. Uh, a lot of stuff to sort of think about and try to figure out how to make use of. But I think this is going to be the end of this particular episode. Next episode, we're going to see if we can start breaking some rules. So until then, I want to say thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time for Back to the Future of the Game. Bye!